Well, hello, my name is Dr. Jeff Golini, and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about busting myths and bringing you the truth. Hey, Kenny from Facebook uh, writes in, and by the way, I love answering your questions. Send me an email um, if you've got a question, uh, no matter where you are in the world, because I get them from all over the place, um, and if, maybe I'll read it on the show, but I'll for sure always answer your questions. Anyhow, Kenny writes, I have some questions about your wonderful product, Crealclin. How safe is it? Does it have any side effects? How do I take it? And why do some people on the internet not like it? Boy, this is a four banger here. Um, so let me start with how safe it is it. It is safe. One of the things that I do on all of the branded ingredients that I develop is I always run toxicology studies. I don't care whether it's something that everyone else says is safe or you know it's something that's a little more uh, familiar like proteins I'm also always going to run toxicology studies to make sure that it's safe so first of all I can guarantee you that Crealcon is completely safe does it have any side effects that was the reason why I developed Crealcon is remember creatine the most researched creatine monohydrate um, had a flaw it's not stable in solution it converted to creatinine Creatinine is what causes all of the bad side effects from creatine. I eliminated those side effects when I developed Crealcolin because I fixed that stability issue, which is why Crealcolin is the world's only stable creatine. So you're not going to have any bloating, stomach cramps, uh, dehydration, um, all the things that are normally associated with uh, creatine uh, intake. So no, no side effects. Uh, that have ever been reported to me, and it's been on the market since 2001. How do you take it? Here's my recommendation. Two capsules, 1.5 grams first thing in the morning. On training days, a second dose, two capsules, 1.5 grams. That's all you need. Um, now sometimes, you know, some more elite athletes, uh, people who are, are much larger, um, may take a third dose. Um, that kind of depends on, you know, where you are with, uh, with your sport and what you're doing. But for most of us, um, that's what I recommend how to take. Why do some people not like it on the internet? Don't care. <laughs> um, the reason is, is they're jealous. You know, the internet is a great place for people to hide behind the keyboard, as they say. Um, they're typically uh, somebody that wants to be somebody and, you know, kind of like the tabloids, if they can get a rise out of somebody and, and say, oh, Crealcolin doesn't work. My goodness, how can you say Crealcolin doesn't work? It's the number one selling creatine through Europa for the last three years in the United States of America. And there's a reason why it is continually uh, increases in sales each year since 2001. Um, so if it's a fad, I, I, I don't know how long is a fad supposed to last for 14 years uh, or whatever, 15 years? Uh, no, I thought a fad was something that came and went in a short period of time. Um, so again, the people that say stuff that it doesn't work, it's a fad, um, don't use it, don't care. They don't know what they're talking about anyhow. <laughs> so, um, but hey, don't take my word for it. If you want a sample, send me an email and I will give you a free sample for you to try. And uh, see for yourself. Anyway, hope that answers your question and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.